Hey guys, what's up? It's Heidi. So, Happy New Year, and I have yet to do my Christmas book haul because, of course, I got some gift cards and some books for Christmas, so I'm going to show you those in this video. I'm also going to film my wrap-up and TBR for stuff in a second, and I'm also going to film my goals for 2014. So, today's a big filming day for me, and I will hopefully get those all up pretty soon. So let's get into my Christmas book haul. So I got a lot of books. Um, I ended up with... I got nine books and a very large box set. And that has like 15 books in it. So I will show you all of those. And they're not really in a particular order. So let's go. The first book I got, of course, is... Crown of Midnight by Sarah J Moss. If you follow me on social media sites, you probably are aware that I flip and love Throne of Glass a lot. Um, so I bought Crown of Midnight. I actually took multiple trips to multiple bookstores and they never had it in stock until uh, the last time I went, which was last night, and they finally had it. I was really excited because I need to read it because Throne of Glass is amazing. The next book I got, I didn't even know existed, but it's kind of a flashback to uh, childhood stuff. And that is Everything On It by Shel Silverstein. And I have his other three books, and I didn't even know he had a fourth poetry book. But if you had a less fun childhood, then you might not know who this is, but he is a really awesome poetry dude. And he writes the silliest poems, and they have really, like, kooky illustrations. I can't find one, but like, just looking at that, and it's just really fun, and I'll probably read this at some point when I'm looking for something a little lighthearted, but I'm really excited about this, because I didn't know we had another one, and this is cool. Yeah. The next book I got, I got because Jesse the Reader got it for Christmas in his haul, and the title is just so cool, I had to go get it, because it looks really awesome, and that is The Girl Who... The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland in a Ship of Her Own Making. And that's an intense title. And this just looks like the most adorable, cool book ever. And the dragon likes to read, I've heard. And it just looks really cool. And there's two other books in this that she's written, I guess, that are like in this world or style or something. I don't know. They all look the same. And I'm pretty excited to read this and then maybe move on to the next two because they're really awesome. The next book I got, I have seen the movie, I guess, and I have not, I didn't even know it was a book until I saw it on the shelves. So I got that obviously right away. And that is Howl's Moving Castle by Diana Wynne Jones. And this is a cool little snippet from my childhood. And I'm pretty excited to read this book. And it's pretty short, pretty quick. Um, I kind of feel like I want to read a lot of younger grade stuff right now. I don't know why, I just do. So, maybe because I've been reading really intense books lately, I need to step back. So, I'm really excited to read that. It looks, you know, it, it's going to be good. The next book I got is a sequel to a book that I haven't read yet. And that's Never Fade by Alexandra Bracken. Bracken. I have not read The Darkest Minds, but somebody was talking about it, and they said it was really creepy and stuff, and... I decided to buy Never Fade because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like The Darkest Minds. And so I got I got Never Fade also. I'll hopefully read those soon. The next two books I got are Pretties and Extras by Scott Westerfeld. And I just really like these editions. I know a few people that have these editions of these books. I can't find specials anywhere in this print edition, but I will find it at some point. But other than that, I now have the whole series, and I'm definitely going to reread these very, very, very soon. And so I'm going, I'm, I'm excited, because this is going to be fun. And I really, the, the extras cover is probably my favorite, because look at that eye. Like, can we talk about the most intense eye ever? It's this one, right there. The next book I got is a book that I read probably in middle school, and I really loved it. And then I just never went anywhere with it. I know it's a series, but I never read any more of them or anything. But that is The Extraordinary Adventures of Alfred Kropp. And then I, I found out that it's by Rick Yancey, 
which means a lot more to me now than it did back then. But Rick Yancey's a pretty cool dude, apparently. But this is a really good book. This is about, this is a modern day Arthur, kind of. Um, it's about this boy and he finds out that he's a descendant of King Arthur and cool mystical nighty things happen and it's very cool and I don't remember a whole lot of it I just remember really really liking it so I'm probably going to reread this because I want to remember what happened the next book I got is and another thing part six of three in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy series because that's it's a great series. If you haven't read them and you like funny things, read them. This is actually by Owen Colfer, who wrote the Artemis Fowl series, as opposed to Douglas Adams, who wrote the rest of this series. But it's kind of short, and I trust Owen Colfer, so I'm excited to read this. I've seen it around. I actually found this at my work for like six bucks or something, which is nice. I work at a grocery store, so we occasionally get books, and it's kind of nice because they're usually really cheap. So I'm excited to read this because I flip and love the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy series more than anything else and they are kind of what got me into reading a little bit. I started reading them in like sixth grade and then kind of got me back into reading I guess that in the Animorphs series. So that's pretty cool. Alright, it's time for time for the big, the big one. Um, this is a really cool box set of lots of children's stories that I really loved all by the same person and that is the Roald Dahl Fizz Whizzing Collection it comes with like 15 books in it all by him obviously and it's so colorful it just makes me so happy so I'm gonna just show you each book one by one and just go through that really quick because this is a lot of books Danny the Champion of the World James and the Giant Peach Charlie and the Chocolate Factory the Twits, The Witches, The BFG, Fantastic Mr. Fox, Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator, George's Marvelous Medicine, Boy Tales of Childhood, Easy O Trot, Easy O Trot, I don't really know how to say that, The Magic Finger, The Giraffe and the Pelly and Me, Going Solo, and Matilda. Alright, so I actually bought three other, technically four other books, but one of them I already owned, so I'm just going to show you the other three. And so I bought those, totally forgot about them, but I just remembered, so I'm going to show you those now. And these are the next three sequels in the Demon King series, or I guess there's seven, will, seven Realms series by Cinnamon Williams Chima. The first one is The Exiled Queen. The second one is The Grey Wolf Throne. And the third one is The Crimson Crown. And these are all really flippin' cool covers, first of all. But uh, this is... The first one is The Demon King, which I bought a while ago, and I haven't read any of them yet, but I figured, hey, there was a box set and it was cheap, so I got it. And uh, I've been reading a lot of fantasy lately, so I figured I would pick them up and I'll probably actually read them soon, along with the other fantasy books that I've been sitting on for a while, and I'm excited to read them. Alright, so that is it for my Christmas December book haul -ness. Let me know down in the comments below if you've read any of those books or if you like any of them or if you want to read any of them. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you like me, be sure to hit subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye!